Hello guys, Blender is back with the Blender 3.3 LTS, that is the long time support version for especially studios who are working on a lengthy project and uh, my intent to just use one single version of Blender for a long time. So any bugs that might come up are going to be, you can be assured that they are going to be worked on as you're working uh, because this is the LTS version uh, for studios and uh, people who are trying to work on a project for a long time using a single stable version. And uh, you can see the if new features, uh, we have the new hair system which i'm very excited about i wasn't sure it would be fully available in this release but uh, it seems that uh, it's stable enough to be put into this version which is very very, very exciting and uh, you can see the demos are already out there people are using it and it just just amazing tool uh, with a new stuff. Uh, also, we have new features in geometry nodes like the Procedure UV unwrapping. Uh, this excites me a lot and I, it seems much more stable than it was a few, a few days ago when I tested it out. Uh, as you know, in geometry nodes, every time you added a new geometry node, you would lose the UV maps uh, that you had created. But now with Procedure UV unwrapping, that fixes that. So your, your, your objects are going to be uh, UV unwrapped automatically with the automatic UV unwrapping. So previously there was a specific UV unwrapping node, but this seems to work automatically with just any node you add in. And there is also the most exciting feature, I think, in geometry nodes, the path, uh, the shortest path feature that allows you to detect or find a path between two uh, points or two vertices, uh, tracing a path using the edges uh, to the point uh, that you want to get to. And you can see they created a beautiful maze here uh, that uh, finds its way to the point uh, like that there. It's not just that, there is volume cube primitives, uh, points, point primitive, mesh to volume. A lot of nodes we have already looked at ourselves because as you know, uh, there are always daily releases up until the final version of Blender. So most of the features we have looked at here we are looking at here are already features we have talked about in previous videos but still exciting features because right now that they are in the final LTS release we know they are stable and uh, fully mature to be used in projects and for those of you who are into NPR non-photoristic renders I'm excited to let you know that the light and shadow contour modifier is up and are working in Glitz Pencil so you can have those contours rendered and also interact with a light and shadow in real time as you can see in the demo here it's a very very exciting new version packed with a lot a lot of features and like i said most of these features we have already looked at in previous uh renders and improved motion tracking for image plane markers but before i let you go i want to show you the news plus screen uh which is quite exciting just look at this amazing detail uh, by piotry krinsky uh, this is also, as you know, every time a new version of Blender is released, a new splash screen with the project files is also released and that uh, you can take a look at it uh, in the by downloading it from the links that I'll be providing in the description. Just look at this amazing detail. It's so heavy, I'm not sure. I, I think they use cycles to render this. Let's see if we, if my PC can handle it. Yeah, I don't think my PC is going to be able to is going to be able to handle it. It's quite a heavy project, so I will uh, give up on uh, trying to preview that. I don't want my PC to burst into frames. 